Good evening. This is day four of the NJCA National Basketball Tournament, and this is our wrap-up show. It was quarterfinal day at the National Tournament, the 70th edition of this great basketball tournament for junior college. Hi, everybody. I'm Rod Zook, along with Glenn Grunwald. And, Glenn, another great day of basketball. And that first game of the uh, evening of the afternoon, uh, Northwest Florida State and San Jacinto, one that we were uh, really looking forward to, turned out to be everything we expected. Were it you to be. surprised? I was surprised. I was surprised that it was that easy. These two teams did meet earlier, and we'll have more on this game, the score and everything in just a moment. But these two teams met earlier, and uh, Northwest Florida State jumped out to a big lead, almost similar to what they had in the first half of the game today. But the second half was much different because Northwest Florida State kind of stepped on their necks right then and just kept them at yeah, bay. Yeah, they had a good lead at halftime, and I thought, okay, they maybe can make a run and come back. The problem is like that, and we've said it many times in the broadcast, anytime you expend that amount of energy, it's tough to come back. But, wow, was it a deciding factor as, a, as a, they, a Northwest Florida State just flat took it away from the number one seed, San Jacinto. And this is the tournament where seven of the eight teams were in the top ten seeding. Only Motlow State was seeded number 14, so the seeding for Purposes worked really good, and uh, wow, did Northwest Florida State ever come out of blocks? And uh, hey, they're they're for real, and uh, they're they're looking to maybe get another championship. Well, I think the whole key, and I think most of the coaches agreed in the ball game and during the press conference after the game, and keeping it, even though the score was high, final score was 98 to 82, but it was still a half court game despite that many points going on the board. Northwest Florida State was just able to keep the tempo, just on the simmering edge of of a fast let, uh, that um, San Jack wanted to play, and San Jack really never got rolling. Right at the end, they did, but yep. it was really too late. Every time too they late. made a run, it was too little, too late. Absolutely. So they are into the semifinals. Now let's go to game number two. It was a heck of a game as well. South Plains <laughs> was able to pull it out 69 to 67 over a very good Vincennes team. Well, Vincennes got a basket with about 10 seconds to play. They go up one. And uh, so, um, South Plains did not call a timeout, threw the ball in, took it right down the floor, and a long, and I mean long, three-pointer. And we talked about how great they shoot. Boy, they showed it. I mean, it came away with a huge win and the final score uh, in that ball game. Um, 69-67. I mean, what can you say? That was just a fantastic yeah, ball. A Clearly one of the best ball games of the day. Branger hit the three-pointer from about 35 feet out with 5.6 to go, and that was in. Vincennes finishes with a fine, fine season, uh, but it's it's on to the uh, semifinals for South Plains. Yeah, and they as well as they shoot, they're one of these teams that can, when you have a team that can stand off from the defense and just nail long threes and we're not talking threes just a step or two beyond the arc we're talking well out beyond the arc that makes it incredibly hard to defend especially when you have some good size inside as well too so that definitely was a factor in the ball game it's definitely carried them along if they keep shooting like that it's going to be difficult one other thing though to note you start getting tired this is going to be your fourth ball game coming your third ball game coming up tomorrow you start getting a little tired your legs starting to get a little bit heavier and that can make a difference. All right, let's take this to the 6 o'clock game. It was the Hutchinson Blue Dragons taking on Odessa. And, boy, did Odessa come out of the blocks quickly. They got to an 18-1 to lead on the Blue Dragons of Hutchinson. The hometown was not too happy. No, they weren't. It was a very quiet gymnasium, and it wasn't too uh, dissimilar from yesterday, except that uh, Odessa just kept playing well. They didn't uh, kind of fade like St. Petersburg did towards the end of the game. They made it a war. But a credit to Hutch for two things. One, they came back and they actually took the lead at halftime. But two, still able to maintain that much energy and put forth that much effort knowing they were still had a whole half of ball to play, a whole half of very physical basketball, and they did really well. Hutchison came back to lead it 40 to 34 at halftime. A heck of a comeback. And then the second half, they started out slow again. And I'll tell you what, Deshaun Strickland, for Odessa was outstanding. 21 points for him, but they couldn't stop the big man. Shakur juiced him for the Blue Dragons as uh, he again had a double-double as he just had one heck of a ball game. 23 points, 16 rebounds to go along with a slew of assists. And, and Hutchinson was able to hang on. They hit some free throws down the stretch, and they won at 89-86. And one thing about that, and we and we talked about this earlier as well, you, they, Shakur Houston had 
just not really a great start to this ball game. I don't know how many points he had at the half. I think it was two or four. Three, three, three and three he ends up rebounds, with yeah. 23 points and 16 rebounds. Samaji Haynes-Jones, another solid game. And, and Sal Nuhu. Uh, yesterday it was Nick Sechik's. Today, Sal Nuhu came up and, and had a couple of big uh, points. He, he contributed some rebounds. Most of all, he, he was a good presence inside. He's a little quicker than uh, Nikolai Sechik, which means he could get out and defend a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, Sketchy's didn't have as good a game as he had the night before, so no doubt about that. That matches up now. South Plains in the early game, uh, in the late game, excuse me, as they'll take on the late game winner, which was Eastern Florida. They just took it away in the second half. Well, they really did. It was kind of an ugly game in the first half, 25-20. And what are you going to say? That's not that's not a lot of points in junior college basketball, even for good defensive teams. So, But, uh, yeah, Eastern Florida, they really kind of turned things up. They started getting the rebounds, much like they did last night in their win, and uh, really kind of took control of the ball game from there on out in the final score. Yeah, Motlow just, yeah, just didn't have the guns to go along with it. So that sets up the semifinals. And the early game, it will be Northwest Florida State taking on the Blue Dragons of Hutchison and the late game South Plains will be matching up against Eastern Florida. It's going to be a good uh, day tomorrow. It's going to be some exciting basketball tomorrow night. Yeah, indeed. We do want to remind folks, again, if you're coming to this ball game, there are no afternoon sessions, of course. This is a 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock doubleheader at the sports arena. And uh, if you want tickets and you are going to walk up to buy them, you probably should get here a little bit early. Uh, there will be tickets available. Uh, on a limited basis, but there are plenty of tickets available. You do want to get here a little bit early, especially if you don't want to park four or five blocks away because that's probably going to be the case. We've talked about parking, but it's always kind of been that way here at the sports arena, especially on a full night. So come early, enjoy uh, the concession stands and all the other parts that make up the uh, sports arena to get ready for two big games. Semifinal night is always my favorite yep. night, Glenn. They are the hardest fought. The biggest games because there is just so much at stake when you, you get can here. catch all the action right here on NJCAA TV. Glenn, thanks for being with me. For Glenn Grunwald, I'm Rod Zook, and you've been listening to continue, can, continuing coverage of the NJCAA National Basketball Tournament and our wrap up show. We'll see you about 5.50 tomorrow with our pregame coverage and then semifinal action coming your way starting at 6 o'clock. Glenn Grunwald, I'm Rod Zook. Good night, everyone. <laughs>